The life of an athlete is not always glamorous. For many aspiring athletes, sponsorships don't come easy. Often these athletes are left fighting alone and spend countless hours training, as many professionals do, only to receive little support along the way. Most of them would tell you they do it for free, but doing it for free doesn't pay the bill. I seriously have a vivid memory of me and my dad in West Edmonton Mall uh, at one of those water fountains where uh, my dad, I always used to flip one coin into the water fountain because you know you get to make a wish and and I was about nine years old I think or ten and I remember seriously thinking I wanted to go to the Olympics and that was really the time when I realized that that's my dream and that same year I went to my first national championships and so my dad really helped me realize that national championships is a great goal but the Olympics is the ultimate goal. I think the motivation comes from well a lot of family and friends, great coaches, great teammates to help me along the way but ultimately it I feel like it comes within me because I, I, I know and I believe in myself that I can achieve the goals that I've set and I believe in myself to do that and if I give up, if I stop, I'll not only be letting other people down but ultimately, ultimately myself. I wouldn't forgive myself for that so I want to um, give everything I can for this whole gymnastics career and see where I end up. Jackson um, inspires me um, with his determination. He never gives up, uh, doesn't matter what it is, if it's in gymnastics or other aspects of his life, he always gives 100% and never will quit until the job is accomplished. I'm definitely mostly grateful for my parents and their love and support through everything that I've been through for all my coaches that have helped me. I feel like I won the lottery when I was put into a class that had my first coach, uh, Liang Cheng. He was probably the best coach in Canada at the time and that because I was with him for 15 years, I, I was able to come to the point where I am today. And now being with my new coach, Bin Fan, it just is a perfect transition into the, something that I want to uh, achieve later in my career. My current coach is, is really, really good at taking things easy, not, not overstressing, not overthinking, you know, taking it step by step. And I think that's a really important lesson that I've come to learn even later on in my career to, to slow things down one goal at a time and uh, break, break up our training that way rather than thinking too much about everything all at once is overwhelming so I think breaking things up into little goals has been something that he's taught me for sure. The bigger part is uh, he's keep fighting. Uh, when he come in actually he just missing last Olympic game. I know he has the potential just because the individual is more difficult than the team qualify. So for this part, I didn't see he want to give up, he want to keep going. So that's kind of like a big the push for the coach also. He's more of a internal guy. He doesn't, uh, he leads by example. Uh, he's not one of those guys that uh, show, shows off or talks about, you know, his successes, but he just constantly comes in the gym every day, um, does what he needs to do. Uh, he really, really inspires not just me, all the staff and all the kids on how he goes about his daily business. He's gone through many very serious injuries, but I've never seen him waver. He always comes to the gym with a, an amazing attitude, always upbeat. You never see him down the dumps. He's always there at every moment, whether he's able to do a full routine or if he's only able to do conditioning. He's always there, and even if he can't do much, he's there to push others to do as much as they can. Uh, lots of time goes into becoming Olymp an Olympic athlete. Uh, there's just so much training you need to do. Even if you have talent, you still need to work hard. And uh, even if you don't, you need to work even harder to get uh, to the same level as everyone else. 
Um, it's been an amazing experience working with Jackson. He is always working hard in the gym. He's a giant role model and yeah, I strive to be like him. Uh, his ability to uh, teach younger children, right? So he's not about just him, right, in his gymnastics. He goes to other athletes younger, like me, and goes up to us and like tells us what to do, what we're doing wrong, and how to make it better. And that's that's awesome to see. My best advice would be to listen, listen to your coach, listen to to those around you that are trying to make you better, and and take things step by step. You know, those are my th three top priorities. I, I, family, gymnastics, school. Uh, I mean, they're, they're all important things in my life, but there's a time and a place when one thing is more important than the other. And so, I, when I, it's easy for me to uh, balance all those things when I know which one has priority or, over the other. Um, and so, for example, when I'm getting ready for a competition, you know, gymnastics is a very high priority, and not that it's over family, and usually family always comes first, but it could be over school, and I'm more concentrated on my gymnastics goals right now, and then sometimes when school is important, I, I need to focus on that, and, um, but family is something that I've always needed to, always like to have a focus on, because I think it's important for me um, in achieving all my goals. I, I would just love to show my children that all the hard work coming from the, the hours you put in for training or whatever it may be helps you gain appreciation for what your passion is, what you want to do, and all that dedication and hard work will pay off. And, and sticking at something is is so important because it shows yourself and other people that that you're you're persistent and dedicated to what you want to achieve and and that's important for all aspects of life. Dealing with such a big life change like with having um, a, a baby just recently and I think I'm just proud of him for just working it into our life so seamlessly and not letting it affect us or affect his training. I feel like it's just it became so natural and I think that that took a lot for him to kind of he had to let go of a lot of things and and um, learn a lot of new things. A, a dream that we both share for our daughter would be um, just that she's happy in the decisions that she makes and, and finds a deep joy and satisfaction in in the choices she makes in her life and who she becomes, that she's happy with who she becomes. Uh, I have young boys at home as well and, and knowing the, the discipline and, and sacrifice that he's putting into his career and going for gold, uh, hit, you know, hits home for me and, and we want to, you know, help him out best we can. I'm most proud of the love that he has for his new family, his wife and his little girl. The uh, sparkle in his eyes when he talks about them and the concern that he has for them. Probably that he has not set life aside um, to achieve these gymnastics goals and things like that, but that um, he got married, he's starting a family. Um, I think that's probably what I'm most proud of him for. I've been a physio for almost 20 years now and I've met lots of athletes, as you would imagine. Uh, and there are certain levels of performance and certain levels of persistency and consistency with your training. And there's Jackson. He doesn't really boast about what he's accomplished or um, what he can accomplish. Uh, he's always very quiet about his um, successes. Um, but he's also very confident. Um, I, I admire that about him a lot. I, I wanted to give up after I had my um, surgery on my Achilles. I tore my Achilles tendon in June of 2015 and after that you know, it was a really long road to get back into shape, get back to where I was and 
especially with the Olympics, the Rio Olympics, only a year away, and it felt uh, almost depressing. I was very, I was very down about the whole situation, and didn't know if I wanted to make that effort to come back. Um, but ultimately, I did, and I'm so grateful for that too. As a parent, we find that um, when we know about or feel a trial that uh, one of our children are experiencing, uh, we, we almost make it part of our own, you know, like when he snapped his Achilles, all we could think about was, was that sound and, and that moment and what it meant. And, it happened right before Pan Am Games in Toronto. He was number one on the team going there with lots of hope for medals at Pan Am Games and like three weeks before. It took him a, just about a year to get back to where he was, but yeah. he was very determined. He's been injured a number of times and to watch him uh, overcome all of those things and, and still rise up above it all has been a, a very rewarding part of the journey. But the hard times do make the good times even better. Yes. <laughs> All too often people use that as an excuse in their life, that it's too hard. And he doesn't say it's too hard, he just says he's got to put his head down and work harder. There is one quote that for sure sticks out in my mind, and it was a quote that my brother-in-law actually sent to me while I was living in Korea, um, serving a mission for my church and uh, going through some rough times. And, and it, it reads, uh, if for a while the harder it gets, take heart, so it has been for the best people that ever lived. And, and that just really kind of hit home for me because um, it made me realize that every person goes through some hard, Time, some trials that they need to overcome. If I want to be successful, I have to go through those hard times just like every other successful person out there. If the potential uh, for success is there, Jackson never gives up. He'll, he will always push hard right until the end. That, that inspires me. You know, he's just intense at everything he does and he never, will never give up even if he, even if even if he wants to give up, it's just not in his nature. Definitely that's why we choose to sponsor uh, Jackson because uh, our beliefs in uh, character and work ethic and discipline and family and quality uh, all align with, with Jackson and, and everything he stands for. So if you're a brand um, that aligns with that, then I would definitely um, say Jackson is a, an incredible ambassador for uh, your company or your brand. I'll continue to support Jackson for the same reasons that we started in the first place, which is to provide support to the community. Uh, and again, I continue to learn from him as much as I, he continues to benefit from, from, from our relationship. Like we've been in Calgary for a lot of years. I grew up in Yellowknife up north, but I remember being when the Battle of Alberta between Edmonton, uh, the Oilers and the Flames was crazy. But I still remember back in the day when Wayne Gretzky was, was playing and everybody was giving him flack, you know, all of us Flames fans, people were even doing things they shouldn't do, maybe booing him. But I remember at the end of this one game that was just a back and forth, they were fighting, it was crazy, it was crazy sports. But I still remember him as an athlete, as he, and this is, now I see they all do it, or many of them do it, but he was the first guy I ever saw do it. As he was skating off, he skated over, saw some little kid, handed him his hockey stick and then he left. First time I'd ever seen anybody do it. Now I see the stars all do that and all that. But I was like, that guy was a trailblazer in, in being a good athlete. Now maybe there's lots of times he wasn't, but that was my experience in watching a guy like Wayne Gretzky. And so when I see a guy like Jackson Payne and I see him talking to the young kid that wants to be a gymnast, that's not a gymnast, but they're idolizing him, but he's not so far off that he's not stopping and talking to the people and the kids and the people don't know who he is. Like it's, it's, there's just something about him. You know, he's, he put some personal sacrifice behind. He actually left, he was gonna leave the sport to go serve a mission for his church, which he did. And to not, you know, when he left, he left under the premise that he wasn't gonna train for, be able to train for two years. But through uh, circumstances, he was able to train while he was away, but comes back and still has international ranking. 
Like there's a guy that was ready to give it all up for service but then he was able to hang on to it and he's still back there. That's the kind of guy that I want to have represent me and put my brand to. And that's the kind of guy that I think anybody would want to have. And I've reached out to a few other business guys and said, hey, if you guys are thinking of sponsoring somebody, this guy is a guy you want to put some money behind because just such a great guy. Now, everybody's been flacking me because I've stepped outside of the winter sports scene and now I'm sponsoring somebody that's a summer athlete, but said now just means we'll have to go to Tokyo. <laughs>